Hey, welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. Now, if editing Angie has remembered, and so far I've remembered every month, every time, but there's, there's going to be a first time, there's going to be a time I forget. But hopefully you are watching me in black and white right now. Because if the title, thumbnail, description didn't already give you the clue, this is the continuation of my photo inspiration collaboration series. And I am absolutely delighted that this particular one is round two with the beautiful Valerie from Gimme Lip and More. Now she has chosen the picture this time. So the question is, what picture has she chosen? What does uh, this look like in glorious Technicolor? And how similar or different are our looks this time round? The only way to answer these questions is to watch this film and then watch Vowels. Or if you've already watched Vowels, well, then you know what the picture is. But you still need to watch to find out how this looks in beautiful colour. So, grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, get comfy, because here it comes. Hey, welcome back from the intro. I am fully expecting to get interrupted by the door at some point during this, so let's see if I'm right. Now, you will have seen from the intro, the thumbnail, the title and the description that this is the continuation of my photo inspiration collaboration series. Um, if this is your first time watching it, basically I collab with someone, in this case the beautiful Val from Gimme Lip and More. Um, we've collabed on quite a few different things. Uh, we did a single colour challenge we did uh, an ASMR poem reading challenge and we are now doing round two of the photo inspiration. Um, I chose the first photo, Val is choosing today's photo. And the only rules for this are you can only use colours in the photo, you can't add any more in, but you don't have to use all of the colours if you don't want to. So, the picture that Val has sent, I'll put this up here. Um, obviously I've got it on my phone because I haven't edited it in yet. I'm waving it. Thin air. The magic of TV. Or something. Um, it's brassicas. It's, it's actually a fabric. Um, and it's, it's stunning. It's got sort of... It's got lemon. It's got lime. It's got... A, a, a deeper sort of mustardy yellow it's got an orange it's got that wonderful hot pink and then you know the, the, the blue as well so there's an awful lot of it to choose from um, the colors that hit me most out of it are the yellows and the pinks so that's probably the colors that I'm going to use most of today um, I may stick some blue and some green in, see how I feel. But at the moment I'm really loving those yellows and those pinks. Um, so I've pulled two different palettes. Because we have a pastel yellow, I've got my Dream with a Vision, because pastels. And for everything else, i got my Bright Lights Pinky Rose palette. Um, I've actually, I don't normally keep these, I've kept it because of the pressed glitters in here but you know I've got a, a lime and a yellow and a sort of a mustardy yellow and hot pink and orange and blue and so I figure this one will, will um, pretty much cover most of what I need so uh, my face is washed moisturized SPF'd and primed 
Um, I do use an antiperspirant primer as well as I've gone in with um, this is the Aldi version of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, this is for me an absolute dupe for that. It's a slightly thinner consistency, which means it spreads easier and you can get a thinner layer of it across your skin and I find the thinner the layer of this you can use the more effective it is um, so I've, I've got that on today because my pores were a little bit good morning we're here um, and then obviously I've I've gone over the top of that with my usual antiperspirant primer details of that are linked in the description box below so um, my channel is aimed at all skill levels, so because of my chronic pain and because I'm aiming it at beginners as well, I tend to blend a lot slower than a lot of people do. Not so much on these, but certainly in my tutorials, I do talk you through step by step by step. If that's too slow for you, do feel free to speed me up. I don't have any problem with you speeding me up, but even though I say this at the start of... All my films, I still get people saying, you're going too slow. That annoys me, because I say this at the start of every film. If I'm too slow for you, speed me up. So, let's get zoomed in so we can actually see what I'm doing. Now, as I was saying, usually that's when I'm on tutorial mode, but um, <clears throat> when I'm doing this... I don't, or sometimes I slip back into tutorial mode, but this is more about recreating the picture. So I'm going in with the Rani Moore, Annie Moore, whatever it is, tapered blending brush number six. Uh, details of this are also in the description box in my which brushes do I recommend film. <clears throat> All I've got on my lid at the moment is MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot which has now dried down and is not sticky, but I have not set it. So, let's get started. I'm going to go in with Sunshine, which is this gorgeous lemon yellow. I think, is this one of the pigments? No, it's not. There's uh, Some of these in here are pigments, but this one is actually an eyeshadow. So, initially, because I haven't set the base yet, I'm just going to tap this across. Because this is effectively setting the base, but it also helps, um, particularly when you're using pastels, <clears throat> to uh, to still give you a nice colour, you know, a nice bump of colour. Now, obviously, I don't know how well pastels will perform on deeper skin tones. Um, I have ordered or pre-ordered the Blush Tribe Pastel Tribe palette and Blush Tribe's palettes are aimed at people with deeper skin tones so I'm imagining those pastels will work better um, can't wait for that to arrive, that starts shipping mid, -June, mid to late June I believe um, I'm really excited about that arriving so you can see I basically patted the colour down and now I'm very very gently just picking up little bits of extra just to blend it because the problem with pastels is when you start to blend them you do risk blending them away so I like to just dab an extra bit of um, colour on the brush and also here and here I have quite deep creasing so I do sometimes struggle getting pigment to stay put so Val who is Val if you've not already seen one of my collabs with her if this is your I'm really sorry I'm sounding very husky today very un ASMR of me let me have a a slurp of my drink <clears throat> see if that helps um, I've followed Val for a long time um, she's actually a nurse based in America and she has the most soothing voice if I'm stressed, I'll either put one of her films on or one of Linda's, who I've also got quite a few collabs with, um, because they both have such calming, gentle, 
soothing voices, you know. Um, and there's never any... You know how when you watch some people, they're like, oh, hey, oh, oh, oh. There's none of that with them. It's all very calm and very restful and very gentle. And there's never a panic. And if, if something doesn't go quite how they want, they're like, that's okay, we can fix it. Pretty much like me, actually. You know, I'm always being told if I was any more laid back, I'd be horizontal. Which is true enough. I, I like to leave a bit of a gap um, just at the top here so that my uh, brow bone highlight shows up later. But yeah, I've, I've collabed with Val, as I said, quite a few times now. Um, and actually, I have done her tag, but it's not live yet. <clears throat> she did a, um, a spirit animal tag. So, I need to make that live at some point. But I've got, it's lovely, I've got so many people wanting to collab with me on this series that um, I've got quite a lot of films pre-filmed that I've done um, that I haven't made live yet because I've got collabs to go up instead and I love that people enjoy this series it's um it's something I've been thinking about for quite a while before I actually started the series itself um <clears throat> I was always fascinated about how you know you, you watch different beauty gurus I'm just going to clean this off on a cloth because I'm going to reuse it for the next colour um, you see all these beauty gurus that get the PR and they've all got the, the new palette and you're looking at the palette and you're thinking oh I'd love to use that colour and that colour and that colour and that colour and if I had it the first look I'd do would be blah 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 <clears throat> and different gurus even with the same palettes they've got exactly the same inspiration because they've got exactly the same colours normally end up producing very different looks and that always that fascinated me how um, different people are drawn to different colours <clears throat> right, I'm going into Pinky Rose and I'm going into Brulee which is the sort of tanny mustardy yellow I'm just going to pop some of that through the crease here just to deepen it up a little bit um, yeah, and it always fascinated me how, you know, everyone sees something different in a palette. Unless you've got a quad, in which case, you know, you, you normally end up producing very similar colours. But if you've got a palette with, you know, 12, 14, 15, 18 colours in it, <clears throat> you do normally end up with quite different looks. And that, that really interested me and I've I've always loved photography and I've always loved colours, be it in nature, be it in space. Um, I, the first few of these collabs that I did were with pictures from space because space is beautiful. I mean the colours that, that there are out there. You know, we look up and we see a dark night sky with like, you know, white stars and usually a white moon. Beautiful blood moon we had yesterday. Um, <clears throat> if I can, I might try and put a picture of the blood moon down here somewhere while I'm doing this. Um, it wasn't the clearest picture in the world because obviously my camera and my phone is not a telescope. Um, I haven't done my base yet and the reason I've got fallout is because I didn't tap off. But that's okay doesn't matter um, <clears throat> yeah so I sort of I came up with this idea of using photos to do a look from um, and I thought well how shall I do this should I do this and do a look and then challenge my friends to do it as well and I thought no I'd really like to do it as a collab with both films going live at the same time so that we don't know what the other person's done again I'm just cleaning this brush off um, and that was just 
that that idea just took root um, and started to grow and I sort of I, I approached a couple of uh, my friends on YouTube and said uh, I'd had this idea and what did they think? And did they think it was a good idea? Would they like to join in maybe? Uh, and so far I've been super super lucky. I've only had one person be rude. <laughs> Let's not go there. <clears throat> um, but what's been really lovely is that I've had people say to me um, can I join in the series as well? And I'm just like, that's awesome. I never thought that person would want to collab with me. So, even though I'd followed them for ages. Right. Now, time to play with some more colour. I think I'm going to go into Becky, which is the, the hot pink. I'm going in with a Morphe M562 brush. see super super hot pink I'm just gonna run this sort of halfway along the crease there and just blend it so yeah um, I was so happy when so many people were like oh this is such a brilliant idea really love this. Um, unfortunately, everybody that's watching it seems to be enjoying it as well. So that's really lovely. I'm just going to smudge this onto the outer corner there as well. That's really pretty. So yeah, it's it's just been it's been such a fun series to do and to be honest I thought oh well, they'll want to do maybe one maybe they'll want to do two because they'll want to choose a picture the second time round but I've been so lucky that people are like okay round three, round four I've done four rounds so far with Linda and I think we're going to be doing five and six as well um, I know Jessica's got she's got quite a lot on her plate at the moment with collabs and whatnot, but I know she said she's looking um, she's happy to do rounds three and four with me as well, so, yeah, exciting times. And, uh, Chelsea is going to do three and four with me, I believe, so, yay! Ah, oh, you may have noticed, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> there's an episode missing, it jumps from episode 11 to ele uh, episode 13. Uh, that's because I'd already pre-filmed episode 12, which actually is with Chelsea. Um, and unfortunately she's not been very well. So she's like, I just haven't got around to filming it yet. I'm like, that's okay darling, don't worry, we'll, we'll push it back a bit. I've got plenty of other films that I can put in instead. Um, but obviously I'd already pre-filmed it and everything and called it episode 12, so... Episode 12 will be coming with Chelsea as soon as she feels better. Get better soon, pop it. So, but yeah, so Val is a nurse. Um, and I would have collabed with her earlier on this series, but um, she was sort of sequestered to different hospitals. So she was like working away from home, so she didn't have her whole kit with her. And I thought, mm, it's not really fair to say to her, hey let's do this and then if she hasn't got a palette with her that have got the colours in it you know she'd then be you know maybe feel obliged to go out and buy another palette which I wouldn't ever want to push on anybody uh, but she's now back home again she's finished her touring for the minute or her sequesterment or whatever you want to call it secondment secondment I don't know my brain doesn't want to work today. It's the day after the Game of Thrones final, so... Ugh, no spoilers, but that was such a disappointing finish. I mean, come on! Although I did cry a little bit when Drogon got sad. But then, I'm half Welsh, so... 
I feel a kinship with dragons. Now I know this is looking a little bit patchy here, but that's because I do struggle just here because of how deep my eyes go. Um, it does tend to affect the uh, look, but fortunately when I open my eyes it's not showing, which is great. I'm just going to... Because obviously your eyes are different shapes, I do keep sitting back and just make sure I've got the same kind of appearance once. I just need to build this corner up a little bit more. Yeah, so um, I said to Val, look, as soon as you're ready, then, you know, we can... I'd love for you to join in with this if you want to. Um, but obviously I understand that you've not got all your palettes and stuff with you. And then she messaged me going, ha ha, surprise, I'm home early, so let's do this. So we did our first round, which was awesome. And then she said, uh, can I choose a picture for the next one? I'm like, yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> I always give people the option, do they want to choose the first picture? Um, but so far everybody's gone, no, 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 you choose the first one. Which is fine, because I've got a folder full of inspirational photos that I've got, some that friends have taken, um, some that I've, I've taken, some that are just random photos that I've seen that are just stunning. You know, like space, clearly I didn't take those. <clears throat> so, just cleaned that off on the cloth and I'm going to go in with um, Dreamsicle, which is the orange in this palette. I really like this Bright Lights palette. I was so, so happy when um, Boozy Shop got it in Holland. Because uh, at the moment, we're still in the EU. Until the end of October, so I could order it. It was cheaper shipping than ordering it from America. I didn't get clobbered with import tax on arrival. I think what a lot of people don't realise, particularly Americans, because you, you do get an awful lot of like free shipping and stuff in America. <clears throat> but if we order from America to here, I think the cheapest shipping I've found is Colourpop, which is a tenner. So straight away you've paid a tenner, right? Just building this colour up and kind of buffing over where it meets the, uh, the pink there. So straight away you've paid a tenner. And then when it arrives, however much you've ordered, although now Colourpop do actually um, put the tax on before which is great because then we don't get the handling fee when it arrives. Um, because you've prepaid the tax, but the majority of places in America, um, you're paying 25 dollars $35, delivery. A lot of times you pay more than the actual pallet to get it delivered. So there was one pallet that I looked at, for example, that was, the pallet itself was $25. The shipping was $26, so straight away, 51 bucks, right? Then when it arrives, we have to pay 20% import tax on arrival. So there's another tenner, so that makes it 61. And then I had to pay a handling, would have had to pay a handling fee. And uh, the handling fee for that one, because of the company it was coming in through, would have been another 15 quid on top. So it would have made it 76 quid for a $25 pallet. So it basically tripled the cost of the pallet just in shipping and then import tax and handling fees when it got here. So um, it's, it's very rare that I will order something from America. Uh, the exceptions are uh, Beautylish because once you pay um, an order of 35 bucks or more you get free shipping and you pay your tax up front with them as well. 
so um, you know you know whatever you pay is whatever you pay uh, but you do pay an additional can you imagine paying an additional 20% on whatever you buy how much is tax in your area hmm? eight dollars eight percent eleven percent imagine twenty percent yeah um so yeah I mean color pop now you pay the, the tax beforehand which is great and I think tart and two face do as well um but everywhere else just no the only the only time I ordered because I wasn't sure whether it was ever going to come to the UK was um, the melt smoke sessions uh, and then that came to Beauty Bay and I'm just like really so yeah enough of my waffling but yes, that's why I was so glad when this palette came to um, Boozy Shop in Holland. Because it meant that I could get it for a much more sensible price. Um, so that's, that's why there's a series of Brexit Broke My Low Buy films. Because <clears throat> I don't want a low buy this year. <sighs> I am... Um, this has just got micellar water and I'm just tidying up around the uh, tear duct there. As you can see. I might do the same at this end as well. Um, yeah, there's been a number of times that, because obviously Brexit was originally March, then they pushed it to April, then they pushed it to May, and now it's October. <clears throat> But there were a number of times that I just thought, damn, I, I, I really want that. And if I leave it and it just you know, it breaks, it happens, it's going to cost me a damn sight more. So, yeah. Now, what colour shall I do on the lid? I might start off with lit, which is the bright, bright yellow. Just gonna get a smaller mirror just so I can see what I'm doing because that's quite a long way away. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of lit in the inner corner. And obviously I'm not cutting my crease, so it is gonna blend in with some of that orange a little bit. That's okay. Uh, so yeah, it's um, it's really frustrating as well because it's like we've we've got two supply or two companies now over here that stock, for example, Wet n Wild. We've got Beauty Bay and uh, one of our drugstores called Boots stocks it. But the problem is they don't get the new releases at the same time as you get them. They don't always get everything from the release, like the Fire and Ice thing, um, which obviously was released at the start of the, or just before the start of the Game of Thrones series, which is, as I said, finished yesterday, so eight weeks ago. We've only got, um, I think, we've got the dragon lipstick, the wall lipstick, so the hot and the cold and I think we got a highlighter and a blush and that was it from that collection literally that was that's all I've seen over here now um, so that's really really frustrating because again Wet n Wild doesn't ship to the UK so it's like, do I spend out a fortune on one of these shipping companies and then, and then I've got the 20% import tax and stuff and then if it does arrive on Beauty Bay or, or Boots, I'm going to be kicking myself. So, yeah, it's really frustrating. I wish that Wet n Wild and Colourpop and Physician's Formula would work together and get a... 
given Brexit, a UK based um, like distribution centre because it's so frustrating. I mean, I, my favourite bronzer is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. But that cost me a fortune to get it. I actually managed to, a friend of mine went to America and bought one back for me, which was great. But otherwise I'm looking at like 20 odd quid for it over here, which, come on. Right, I'm now going to go, still using this brush, this is just a, I think it's a concealer brush. But it's very generic, there's no name or anything on it, it's one of my phrases. I'm going to go into Smash, which is the lime green. Because there is green in that picture. And I'm going to pop that. On the second half, or the sort of the middle section of the lid. I'm going to blend it in with the bright yellow. And then kind of buff it into the pink at the edge. I like that. Because the green's quite subtle in those brassicas. I don't want it to completely overtake the look, but I do want it to be noticeable. Hmm. Okay. So far, I'm quite happy with that. So, I'm going to pause you while I do my foundation and then I will come back and we'll finish this look off. So I'll see you right now. Okay, I am back. Now, what colours shall I do underneath? What have I not used yet? There's definitely some blues in there, isn't there? I've done the pale yellow, I've done the mustard, I've done the orange, I've done the pink, I've done the green. So it's just blues really. And there is a turquoise blue as well. Right, okay. I'm going to use this flat top brush. I'm going to go into Cloud. Which is like a... <laughs> that's, that's blue. Might just tap off. And I'm going to pop this. Right tight up underneath my lashes. Like so. My eyes have been streaming with hay fever, which is why it's got a really clump of bright yellow just there. Uh, it's also why I'm not doing um, eyeliner today. Uh, one of the symptoms of fibro that I've got is runny eyes, and combine that with hay fever, <laughs> it's just, I am yet to find an eyeliner that can actually cope. Uh, Renaissance Flicks does very well, I will say that, but e even that gets broken down by it after a little while. Okay, now I'm going in with this, another flat top brush, but a bit thicker. This is actually the brush that was in the uh, Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette from Tarte. And I'm going to go into Punky which is uh, more of a teal. As you can see, it's got more green in it. I'm just going to use that to blend this bottom lash line out. Just to bring in that hit of blue. I'm just going to flick it really gently up the edge of the pink there to give the illusion or the same kind of effect that a wing would do, but without actually having to do the wing. So if you can't do wings, you can always use this as a cheat. So, same this side, buff it out. And you just flick it up the edge. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm literally just flicking up the edge of the pink there. Just to give that impression of... A wing. 
can it just if you're if you're unsure of with your eye shape as to the best shape wing for you uh, there are two different ways that I've found which will work for most eye shapes you just need to work out which one's going to work best for you so you can either continue on the shape of your lower lash line so as it comes round and curves if your eye didn't finish there and kept going so you could do that which is usually what I do because I've got almond shaped eyes if that doesn't work for you the other thing you could do is to aim from the corner of your eye to wherever your brow finishes okay normally one of those two will work for you but it's really just a case of playing with it so on a day when you don't have any makeup on just sit there play with your liner until you work out what shape works best for you because everybody's face is different right i'm going to pause you one more time i'm going to bung some mascara on choose a lippy um oh, i haven't done any highlight have i no i haven't Ooh, let's go in with this white raven which is the one with the skull on it the goth one because it's it's kind of got a although it's white it's got like a pinky purpley shift to it which i think will go quite nicely with this look so this is actually a, a cheap lip brush that i bought off of ebay years ago but it is great for popping up under the tail of your brow just to brighten up that brow bone that really opens the eye out and it also gives it a more youthful lifted look as well you don't have to use a shimmer I normally use whichever colour I'm doing for my highlight but you can use a matte shade if you don't want shimmer up there if you're concerned about because I've got quite deep creasing there. Um, but I break all the rules about who can and can't use shimmers. I'm 45 now, you can't tell me what I'm doing with my face. I'll do what I like. 45, God, that sounds so old. This is the oldest I've ever been. <coughs> Right, okay, so like I said, I'm going to pause you, I'm going to chuck some more of this highlight over my face, put some mascara on, choose a lippy, do something with my hair, be back for the final look. I am back. Uh, the lippy I used was Wet n Wild Dark Pink Frost, it's a bullet lippy, uh, because hay fever, my lips have been feeling very dry so I like to wear bullet lippies during the week and then I only really tend to use uh, matte lippies if I'm going out for an evening or I'm going out for a meal and need it to set and stay there. Uh, I used, actually I used quite a bit of wet and wild today, I used the Hummingbird Hype Shimmer Blush. Um, my favourite butter bronzer in bronzer. I, didn't use, I don't use the light one because that's slightly more orange. I saw that Taylor swatch both of them. Um, and the light one is slightly more orange. And I, Because I don't contour, I use my bronze as my contour. I prefer it to be a little bit cooler than the light, light one is. But so long as I go in with a light hand, it, it looks absolutely fine. So my hair's actually behaving itself today, which is amazing. It never does that. Right, so here's my final look for the brassicas. That's the picture. What do you think? How well did I do? Does this represent this for you? Or would you have done it differently? I've got to admit, this is a really beautiful spring look. Um, it makes you want to go to the beach or I'll go off into the countryside and have a picnic and sneeze all afternoon because of my hay fever. Maybe the beach. Beach is better. Sea breeze. Yeah. 
the sand gets everywhere. But to say breeze, no, no sneezing, hopefully. Um, right, so this is my interpretation of Val's choice of picture. So, I'm now going to film the intro for this and go and edit it, but when this goes live, while you're watching me, I've been watching Val. So, please, please remember, my beautiful 4F family, that once you've done your usual of liking and commenting and maybe even sharing this film, um, please go across and check out Val's interpretation of the picture and see how similar or different our interpretations are. Now, so far, every time I've done this, the looks are very, very, very different. So, will they be different again this time? Only you can tell by watching Val's film. Now you've watched mine. Um, as always, please double check you're still subscribed. YouTube are buggers for unsubscribing people and turning your notification bell off. And if you've come here from Val's channel, hi, hello, welcome. I hope you enjoyed it here. Uh, we are a lovely, caring, supportive bunch. Um, you will always find someone in the comments that will pay your compliment or reply back to you or just be kind if you need it. Because I am very proud of my 4F family. They are exactly the people I would choose to be my friends in real life. So, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is your stay fabulous, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.